Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to solve inequalities graphically. So what is the question? Solve 3x plus 2y greater than 6 graphically. To solve any inequality graphically, we have three steps. Step 1, convert inequality into equality. Step 2, find solution and plot graph. You have to find the values of x and y and you have to plot the graph. And the step 3, find visible region of the graph that will represent the inequality. So we'll discuss each step one by one. Now the step one is convert the inequality into equality. Students, you cannot make the graph of equality. So what you have to do is first you have to convert this inequality into equality and then you have to plot the graph. So this was the first step. Now step two, find solutions and plot the graph. Now you have to find the value of x and y to plot the graph, isn't it? So let us find the value of x and y. For x is equals to 0, let me find y and for y is equals to 0, let me find the value of x. So how do we do that? First we will pick this inequality and for x is equals to 0, we will put x is, x is equals to 0. So this part will be 0 and 2y is equals to 6. So 6 divided by 2 will be 3. So for x is equals to 0, y will be 3. Now for y is equals to 0, I put y is equals to 0 here and this part will become 0. And 3x is equals to 6, 6 divided by 3 will be 2. For y is equals to 0, x is equals to 2. So these are the points we get and we'll plot it on the graph now. On the graph, this is 0, 0,3, this point is 0, 0,3 and this point is 0, 0,2. And I've joined this two point with the help of line. This was the step 2 and why dotted line because it is a strict inequality. For the strict inequality you will always draw a dotted line and for the slack inequality you will draw a solid line that is the straight line without the dots that you have to keep in mind. So now step 3 find the visible region of the graph. How do we do that? As you have noticed we did not make use of the inequality yet. And in the step 3, we will make use of the inequality. So let us take the inequality 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. And now for the values of x and y, you have to choose such a point on the graph. You can choose any point in the graph, but it should not lie on this line for the values of x and y. And the best option is to choose 0, 0. But sometimes, your line will pass right through the origin, then you cannot choose 0, 0. Otherwise, you can always choose 0, 0. That is the best option for the x and y value. So here, the, as the line is not passing through the origin, I'll, I'll choose x, y as 0, 0, the origin point, And I'll put x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0. So this whole part becomes 0 now, which is greater than 6. Is 0 greater than 6? No. It is the condition is false and when the condition is false you have to shade the region away from the origin. This is the center. The line will be the center and you have to shade away from the origin. And if the condition is true the line at the center you have to shade towards the origin. But here as the condition is false I will shade this part. I'll shade the part away from the origin. So this is the region of the inequality. That's why I have written the inequality here. And this line we have got it from the equation. That's why I wrote the equation here. So that's how it is. This is the region of the inequality. I hope it is clear students. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comments. Now let us see the next example. So this is the third problem from exercise 6.2. Solve 3x plus 4y lesser or equals to 12 graphically. Now this is the slack inequality and in the slack inequality you will have the solid line on the graph. Not the dotted lines, only in the strict inequality you draw the dotted lines and in the slack inequality you draw a solid line. So what is the first step? First step convert inequality into equality. 
and this is it 3x plus 4y is equal to 12 in the step 2 what we have to do find the solution and plot the graph we have to find the values of x and y and we have to plot the graph so now for x is equals to 0 and for y is equals to 0 I'll find the values opposite values uh, so I'll pick this 3x plus 4y is equals to 12 for x is equals to 0 I'll put x is equals to 0 so this term will become 0 what will be left is 4y is equals to 12 and now 12 divided by 4 will be 3 for x is equals to 0 y is equals to 3 now for y is equals to 0 let us find the value of x so here I'll put the y I'll put y is equals to 0 so this term will become 0 so 3x is equals to 12 and 12 divided by 3 will be 4 so for y is equals to 0 the value of x is 4 so I get these values and now let us plot it on the number line and this is 0 comma 3 and this is 4 comma 0 x is 4 y is 0 let me join these two points let me extend it from this side also and now what you have to do is now we have to find the visible region of the graph we have to find the inequality region we have to shade the portion of the graph that is the step 3 so how do we do that in the step 3 we pick the inequality and for the values of x and y we pick any point on the graph but it should not lie on this line and the best option I told you is to choose 0 comma 0 when the line is not passing through the origin the best option is to choose 0 comma 0 so that it will be more easier so I put x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 which is lesser or equals to 12 so 0 is lesser or equals to 6 and that is the true condition here the condition is true and I told you when the condition is true you will shade towards the origin towards the point which we have taken which we have chosen okay so the shading will come this side so this is the shaded region so this will be the region of inequality next question next example example 10 solve 3x minus 6 greater or equals to 0 graphically now this example is different from that which we have solved previously okay here you can see there is only one variable that is x there is no y and when you have only x or only y then it is very easy to draw the graph and here you, will, you are having this slack inequality so the line will be a solid line the line on the graph won't be a dotted line it will be a solid line so when you have only one variable either x variable or y variable in the inequality it is very easy so let us see how we do it step 1 is the same convert inequality into equality that is 3x minus 6 is equals to 0 now what we'll do is I'll take this here that will be 3x is equals to 6 and x is equals to 2 we don't have the y variable so x is equals to 2 so what we do is we go to the graph and this is the positive 2 on the x-axis isn't it positive 2 on the x-axis and then you draw a line parallel to the y-axis you draw a line parallel to a y-axis as simple as that this line is from 3x minus 6 is equals to 0 suppose if you had y is equals to 2 here if suppose you had y is equals to 2 then what would you do you go to y is equals to 2 and draw a line parallel to x-axis so when you have x you draw a line parallel to y-axis and when you have y is equals to 2 or y is equals to any number you draw a line parallel to x-axis that's all okay in the step 3 in the step 3 is same you have to pick the inequality and you have to choose any point on the graph that is not on the line and the best option is to choose 0 comma 0 so there is no y here we'll only put the value of x x is equals to 0 so this part is 0 what we have is negative 6 greater or equals to 0 is negative 6 greater than 0 no the condition is false and when the condition is false what do we do we shade the portion away from this point we shade the portion away from this point so this region will be shaded so this is the region we are shading and this is the region of inequality we are shading this because it is away from the point 0 comma 0 away from the point 0 comma 0 as it is the false condition next we are going to solve the similar problem next example 11 solve y is less than 2 graphically even here we are having only one variable here we are having y and it is a strict inequality we don't have the x variable so it is very easy to draw 
so it is very easy to draw the graph and here we, we don't even need to find the value of y it is already given y is equals to 2 we have to just convert the inequality into equality y is equals to 2 already it is given so what do you do you go to the graph plot on the y axis 2 2 on the y axis and what do you do you draw a line parallel to the x axis when it is y you draw parallel to x axis and when it is uh, x you draw parallel to y axis so what you have to do you have to go on to and draw a line which is parallel to x axis uh, that is y is equals to 2 and now you have to shade the region on the graph that is a step 3 find the feasible region of the graph here what do we do we select the inequality that is y is lesser than 2 and what do we do we have to select a point on the graph that does not lie on this line it should not lie on this line so the best option is to select 0 comma 0 x 0 y is equals to 0 so there is no x we will only put the value of y so y is equals to 0 is lesser than 2 is this condition true yes this is uh, this condition is true 0 is lesser than 2 so which part we will shade now we will shade the part towards the origin towards this point 0 comma 0 will shade the graph towards 0 comma 0 so this region represents the inequality y is lesser than 2 in the next video we will solve the next examples that will be a bit more complex than these graphs uh, we'll use the two inequalities three inequalities and we'll plot the graph and we'll see how to do it watch the next video for the next examples thank you